Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, and today we're kicking off a brand new enterprise. That's right, we're playing an Anno 1800 Let's Play on this channel. I've been waiting to do this ever since the closed beta back in, what, January or whenever it was. I've been loving this game. You can actually see my review for all my thoughts. I'll link it under the eye at the top right corner of this screen. It should be around here somewhere. And uh, I'll also link it maybe in the description down below. Uh, had a lot of fun. I've played the campaign a little bit, but with this Let's Play, I'm going to play it on a harder difficulty, and I'm going to be trying a lot of different things. I'm going to interact with a lot more things. I'm going to showcase a lot more things uh, than when I was playing the campaign. The uh, other thing to note is, of course, that I did get early access from the developers, so a huge shout out to them and thanks to them for giving me that early access so I can showcase the game on the channel. No more time to waste. Let's go ahead and set up a new game. Again, it's going to be the campaign. It does blend into the sandbox mode. So we'll see how long we can keep this going. And the longer you want to keep it going, uh, you should let me know. Or you should let me know if you want to keep it going for longer. Because uh, that's how I kind of judge what I should do on the channel. And the way to let me know is by dropping a like and a comment down below if you're enjoying the show. Uh, we're going to go in as this gentleman over here because I cannot get over the monocle, the stash. It's a good look. I love it. I wish I could rock it. Uh, now, this guy over here is giving me the eyes as well, but uh, so is this guy, actually. No, no, no we're going to stick with this man. Look at him. Rim and proper. Love it. So, let's move on. We're going to go in with the train, and we're going to go in with the yellow color scheme. I should note that uh, I think it's because it's an early access copy. Uh, that we have some visual glitches like the background not showing up. It's supposed to be a flag here, so just picture it in your mind's eye. Uh, I can see it because of my monocle, the special monocle. But train, color yellow, uh, gotta match the uh, channel, and no, 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 our name is RT Train Unlimited. Oh, okay, character limit. <laughs> character limit as I'm writing unlimited. Party Train Unlimited sounds like a good, trustworthy institution. Let's begin. No, no, no. Hold on, I gotta choose my difficulty first. Gonna go with advanced. Again, that affects quite a few things. Less starting capital, smaller world sizes, uh, average minerals as opposed to abundant, average fertility, half refunds for construction, and uh, it actually costs to relocate buildings as well. So I have to plan and be careful when I'm laying out my, uh, my cities. Now, let's begin. Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Nice. All right, so we'll kick things Dynamite off. fishing. Mm. You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Give it a second. Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite left. See. I mentioned this in my review as well. This game is very talkative. So let me know if you guys want me to like talk over the voices in the background or if you want me to pause for it because it is very verbose. Because in just a moment's time as you get up to the slide uh, uh, just get plenty of distance on the throw. I think I'll I'll make a judgment call depending on what they're saying. All right. First things first. Got to try and uh, catch some fish with some dynamite over here. Nothing like some good old-fashioned dynamite fishing. Uh, let's go up close and try to be efficient with our resources right from the start here. A little fishing mini game. Ah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and toss as much dynamite as we need to. Oh, I think they might be regrouping down here. Come on. Come on, baby. There it is. They're not expecting the queen parrotfish. Anything with Okay, I'll take the one. Got the diamond over here, take the other one. I was hoping to get a nice uh twofer, but I guess that's not gonna work out for me today. Not a good day with the dynamite. But hey, at least that means I get to throw more. Me catching you some fish, man. Relax. All right. Here we go. Three sets you of fish. You have an eye for opportunity. After all, it's not TNT the locals are short of. God. <laughs> I can't imagine the smell that comes up with dynamite all fishing. All the blistered fish they could ever want. Hey. Ah, that burnt reek. Ugh. 
Hand over whatever it is and I'll help you get rid of it. Thank you, sir. Here we go. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon and nobody wants you to miss it. All right. So now time for one of the prettiest intro shots in a city builder ever. So this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. I have never asked anything of you, Firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand by? Knowing gentle father is endungeoned. It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. Those houses. You never said how wealthy you were. <laughs> Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. I do like it quiet, actually. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be getting much of that over here, but how beautiful was that introduction? The music, the camera angles, the, even the writing. And this intro, this, oh, it's so beautiful. I do, I'm a, uh, I do design work as my, like, day job, so, like, I gush over it when it's really well done, and what? I apologize. Still here? Establishing a rival company on that disheveled island? Beautiful island. Shut your trap. Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you're at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. Yeah, sure. Why not? We need oh. every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. Yes, are you done, Hannah? You, you good? Okay, excellent. I just want to mention really quickly as we start uh, settling things down, a couple things. So first of all, our first island, which I have renamed Richwater, with my eyes to the horizon, uh, has a lot of like these little ruins that you don't, I have not seen them in sandbox games. So you actually have to like 
clear space. So you're very limited in your starting space, which is a neat opening challenge. Uh, you can click on some of the smaller ones right now. And what it does is it takes some time to dismantle them and give you some resources and, and some space, perhaps more importantly. Even the local hermit gave up his refuge and fled. It's a pretty desolate situation on this island over here. We can do this one as well. The tin drew them here. There was no other reason to come. It's the, the writing, like I mentioned in my review as well, is pretty solid. It's a pretty, like, dark and grim image. When the price of copper rose, ditch water was no more. Yeah, because it became rich water. What's up? All right, let's go ahead and pick up the timber. Some timber down here as well, I think. Yep, and I imagine there's some more spots. But you know what? Let's go ahead and start building our city and uh, see where we can put our housing down. I mean, this is a pretty juicy spot to get our housing set up uh, right from the get-go. So we might as well do that. There's no real location that's as central or as widespread so we're going to do that and as i start doing that i want to mention so um fun fact i suppose uh our friend has the uh the seek symbol on his like breast i guess uh the kanda i believe it's called uh and his name is arhant i believe that's how it's pronounced uh if that was intentional it's pretty cool because that name if i recall correctly means uh protector from enemies which is a neat uh neat little touch i think always cool to see that kind of stuff i, I wonder if that'll come into play we're close friends i imagine if that's like a reference to like our past or something like that anyway let's go ahead and get the marketplace set up right over here and then what i can do is go into blueprint mode so i'm not building things without uh planning them out properly Go ahead and get these roads spread out like so. This will be my first road. This will be where I get all my timber and stuff set up. Uh, and probably a little bit of... Uh, no, you know what? Farming farming takes up a lot of space. So I might want to do my farming up over here. Lots of room up here. Uh, and we'll have some clay over here. And clay over here. And clay over here. Looks like we've got some more resources up here as well. Limestone, copper. Uh, limestone up there as well. Got some iron over here. All right, cool. Uh, I'll look at resources later. Sorry. Keep getting distracted by my planning. So, well, let's figure out how do I want to do these blocks? I mean, I could just do really big blocks like this. I like having intersections for easier access to certain locations. I've been doing two by three or three by two. Well, hold on. It's the same thing. Maybe we go a bit more. Oh, you know what? I'm restricted by something here. What's blocking me? I don't know. Go ahead and do this. 2 by 4 It wastes a little bit of space, but I like having these intersections easily accessible. Go ahead and set these up, and, uh, you know what, we'll set them up on the other side as well. And just like to have... I guess not, because we've got these ruins over here. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's at least plan however much we can. Get out of the way nice and early. There we go. And this road over here. Can go all the way. Beautiful. So yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade some of these. We'll have our first civilians arrive, and then we'll get our timber production set up over there. Go ahead and pop you. you reach a new milestone. And you. Age of Agriculture. Very easy to get into. And uh, yeah, now we have to start getting some timber going. Uh, we do have our marketplace. We need our warehouse as well. So the, the way this works is, uh, you if you're completely... Here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? Are you As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Because he's a scumbag. God. And Miserly, there it is. Charitable dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. All right. Let's keep working. Um, all right, so uh, let's go ahead and get this set up. So yeah, if you're not at all familiar with how Anno works, it's primarily about production chain management. Uh, and part of the production chain involves your people. They are cogs in the wheel, so to speak, cogs in the machine. Um, what you need to do is manage and balance the number of workers that any specific type of production chain needs, uh, and then how they interact with each other in terms of sending resources from one to the other, uh, and then how much time it takes, like wood takes, as you can see at the top right corner of the little pop-up, 15 seconds to produce, and timber takes 15 seconds to produce, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so you need one lumberjack's hut to one sawmill. It gets a lot more complex as we go along, um, but that's kind of like the gist of how production chain management kind of starts at least. How do I want to play this? 
what it could do is this is not perfect so we got a hundred father wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state I'm not sitting on my hands, sister. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Always on my case. Slander, Edvard, Prince, and Bright Sands. Oh, newspaper time? There it is. Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. All right, Edvard the Savior. Mr. Edvard Good speaks of bold new era for Good and Sons, nobly bearing the burden terrible traitor brother dropped at his door. Traitor dies mysteriously in prison. Reports Samuel Good couldn't face humiliation of a trial. Miserable few at funerals, still more than Judas ever deserved. Island sail calamity. Empire rocked by sale of strategic island prosperity. Young queen facing first major crisis thanks to Samuel Good's act of treason. My father you speak of. He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. Of course he does. He's a scumbag and a scoundrel. All right. Uh, can I? So some of these guys are going to have to spend some time growing trees before they can uh, actually start collecting wood. I think I'm okay with that because we still have 100% efficiency across the board with them, which is my primary concern. And what I can do is I can get sawmills. So these are one-to-one. -one, so I can get four sawmills set up. Um... Like off to the sides or I can what I can do is uh, I can do something a little funkier I suppose I could do like like a hmm that and that for you two and then this and this for you two so we're gonna actually get rid of these guys that's not where the housing can't extend all that far let's go ahead and get a warehouse in the middle here because ultimately everything needs to end up in a warehouse and then our roads what do our roads do our roads will come down like this and like this and let's go ahead and connect you to this one and try and try and separate our uh our production lines a little bit is uh, you gotta do that. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta trick the game into doing what you want it to do. So this should be relatively productive, but of course we have to keep an eye on how many workers we actually need. Each of these buildings takes five and each of these takes 10. So 15 times four is 60. We got enough people. Do we have enough materials? I think it just costs us money. So let's go ahead and get these done. Timber, very good. I'll try not to think of the coffin. God, don't be such a Debbie Downer. My name is Hannah. All right, here we go. So we're going to start planting forest on some of these that uh, unfortunately don't have that maximum productivity. This one, though, does. And I think, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ramp up. Yeah. All right, we're going to get set up. We're going to get going. And then the wood is going to be produced. And it's actually going to be carried down. Now, it can either be carried down to, as you can see, the uh, sawmill or directly to the warehouse. That's why you want to put the production line together if possible so you can remove a step otherwise this guy would have to drop it into the warehouse and this guy would have to pick it up from the warehouse and then bring it back to his own um hut which is you know an extra step this way she we're eliminating that step nice and helpful so nice and helpful so hopefully these guys get their planting done soon 50 percent and the reason why i went with four is because i wanted to uh make sure i'm getting a constant flow of timber that is a literal building block of uh of your city now time to clear up this residence district after the tin rush, the place went to dust and decay. Okay. We will make it shine again. That's actually good because I'm glad this gets cleared up first because now I can spread out this way for the housing and lots of timber to be had. Morning is eased. Now we have others for company, sibling. Oh, I'm not good enough? It's been a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. All right, so next step, now that we have enough farmers, uh, the way it works is when you get enough of a certain type of people, you unlock another type of need for them or another building and another production chain as a result. So we've just got to a point where we need to get fish to feed our people. Now the fishery, of course, doesn't really have that many steps. It just goes from the coast into the, uh, the docks here. It counts as another kind of warehouse. And then it goes up into your... Um, your marketplace from where people can have access to it let's go ahead and put our fishing like right up against here drop you off over there why not we'll get the road easy connection over here kind of like messy but 
It'll do. It'll do. Get you built. Get the fish coming through. And I have to keep an eye on my fisheries. I, I have a tendency to not get enough fisheries for how many people we have. And you can see we actually don't have enough people right now. So let's go ahead and build another block over here. We are doing two by four. Go ahead and upgrade all of you that we can afford, which is most of you. Well, which is all of you. The road's built over here. And you can see when you click on the marketplace, you can see the reach we have. And you'll see in just a moment's time as this uh, fishery gets that fish produced. Are we really at reduced productivity? No, it's still going up. It's just because of the low worker count. So the, the, the cart takes it over to the warehouse or to the trading post. I'm going to add it over here. I'm going to load it as that fills up. It's going to add it over here. And it'll immediately become available at the marketplace, which means that at all these little farm farmers' houses, their need, their basic need of fish will fill up, and more people will start living in the same plot. Now, there are basic needs, which you have to have maxed out. A new milestone. Let the beautiful little animation play out, because I do like them a lot. Um, but yeah, you have to max these basic needs out before you can upgrade a house to the next tier. You can't reach the next tier Hard until a certain to point. The larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. Yes, Hannah. I'm trying. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you can't upgrade them until you reach a certain point. We'll more on that later. But so those are your basic needs. And then there's happiness. And happiness comes through luxury needs. And these aren't as important to progress, so to speak. But if you want to avoid uh, riots and you know, lower productivity and things like that, you want to make sure that your people are happy because low happiness is not good. Uh, so, for example, these guys want some schnapps. We're able to make schnapps. So let's go ahead and maybe set that up. But they also have the basic need of clothes. So we'll need to set both of those things up to make sure we can progress down uh, down the line, basically. Uh, I wonder if I do want to go up to here to get our schnapps started. Let's go ahead and clear this area out first. So the ghostly shadow of a marketplace, but not a spirit of togetherness lingers. I do love the writing. I think it's really well written. And I think the user interface is absolutely gorgeous. Um... Kudos to, uh, to the devs. Now, let's see if this is all working properly before we move on. So, yeah, you are going this way, dropping off over there. You're going this way. It's You're going that way. Long, hard day. Yep. The people need to rest and maybe wet their whistles. Yep, I agree. Let's go ahead and get a pub down because a pub, Eight I believe, is another dinner. yep luxury need. So, let's try and make these guys happy through the pub while we get our schnapps set up. Now, the pub can fit nice and snugly over here good spot for it right next to the marketplace you do your daily shopping and then you go ahead and hop on over to the pub am i right go ahead and upgrade you no need to dally and then let's get the schnapp supply started because that's what the game wants me to do next uh so i will i think get that set up up over here we have a fair bit of land it's pretty tight the rivers actually get in the way quite a bit go ahead and go straight across uh, not the neatest crossing. We'll want the uh, the clay eventually. Go straight up like so. This will have to come across. Looks like it's at the right level. Okay. Then what I can do is I can do something like that instead. And then for schnapps, we need to get potatoes and the schnapps distillery. Also a one-to-one -one ratio. Makes it easy to manage. Let's go ahead and get the potato farms set up. Now, another thing you can do is you can do one material at one spot and another material at another spot because warehouses transport goods between them immediately. Uh, so you'll notice that as soon as fish is available at the dock, it is also available at this warehouse. Materials teleport, basically. So uh, I can get all my potatoes farmed over here next to a warehouse. That warehouse will get loaded. And if all of my schnapps distilleries are over here, then someone will come and pick up the potatoes from this warehouse, load it up, and get it going. So that is an option. I don't think I'll be using that option here, though. Uh, I can just do something like, well, let's slot this together nicely. These buildings do slot nicely. I can do that. Perhaps they don't slot nicely. They have a slot. They have a little sliver of space left. Just to tease me. Just to tease me. Alright, so let's do that. And let's go ahead and get you like so. Want to try and... Well. No, no, that's not necessary. Pull you over this way. 
push you in over here. And this is why I like to use blueprint mode, so that I don't, by mistake, build something in a way that isn't as uh, ideal. This isn't going to be 72, obviously. Go a little bit higher for 72, or I could do something like that. Not the prettiest. My other option is to um, go ahead and block this entry point off, do something like that. Do that. Move you over. We have some space over here that we can add some like trees or some form of beautification to. Not a problem. Uh, but then we'll also go ahead and get our warehouse set up maybe over here so the schnapps can deliver like that. Let's see what the work clothes kind of looks like. We've got a sheep farm and we need a uh, framework knitters which is pretty big. What I can do is I can get a road off to the side moving up this way. All right, so we can do something like that. This needs to be cleared. Oh, good. I can clear it right now. Nice. And then, let's see. Because if I can utilize one warehouse for a bunch of products, then that's cheaper. But you want to also make sure you're not overloading that one warehouse with too much. So I might need to put uh, the clothes on, on, a, on a separate warehouse. Mm, let's see. Get the sheep farm. Let's see if we can fit it over here. I think it'll fit nicely over here. Yeah, quite snug. One, two, and three. And the framework knitters, you know what, let's flip that. Let's flip it so it's like this. So that the building itself is closer to the knitters, like that. And... And we get... Another one of these. Get you up over here and get... One, two, and three. And then what I can do is I can get the warehouse at this corner. Ah, no, it won't fit. Fair enough. We'll get so we'll get one warehouse over here. That'll make it really quick. The clothes will take a little bit longer to ship over here, so I could add another warehouse back over here. Um, I wonder if the road can actually curve around. Not really. Not really. You know what, let's use this one warehouse for now. And let's see, we've got 107 workers available. What does all this actually cost me? 20 and 50, so that's 70 times 2 is 140. We need more workers. Already we need more workers. 140, and then this is 10 and 50, 60, 120. These is 260. A lot more. A lot more. Go ahead and move out like so. Get uh, these guys set up. 4 by 2. Two. And the thing is, with these plots of land, is as people get happier, these plots get fuller. So what I might want to do is, um, actually this is already pretty full. What I might want to do is get the clothes happening first. Well, I can do like an even split of one set of clothes and one set of uh, schnapps. We're going to suffer a little bit until some of these houses fill up. I think these ones still have some room. Yeah, hopefully when the fish come through, they'll fill up. And then uh, that'll be enough numbers for me to get the these two things going without having to build more houses. I, I, I don't want to... Like, I, a problem that I've had historically with these games is uh, I don't get as many workers out as quickly as possible. Uh, so I'm going to try and get better at that, but I also don't want to be wasteful. Missing goods over here. Just waiting on the sheep farm. Producing sheep. All good. All good. And then down over here, this is working pretty smoothly. This is working very smoothly, actually. This timber is rolling in nice and easy. Oh, okay. So I've overlapped a little bit too much. So it's not the fastest production. It's still working quickly enough for me at this rate, so that's good. I might want to re like rejig this in the future. Uh, basically, you want to minimize the overlap of the uh, the radius around a building, and I didn't... That's the one thing that annoys me about, about Blueprint Mode, is it doesn't warn you until you've actually built the buildings. Which is a little counterintuitive. But, you know, it's coming through at a decent enough rate. I'm fine with that. It's a very... The island might feel big, but it's pretty dense. Pretty tightly packed. We don't have that much room, so I'm fine with it. Alright, so you can see we got the fish, people are filling up slowly but surely, we have more than enough workers now. So in come the clothes soon, and as more people arrive, I'm going to get the schnapps happening as well, and let's take a look at our quest. It's just a matter of getting enough schnapps supply and holding on to it for a minute, because 
obviously, as products get made, they also get consumed. And having a surplus of product is important, especially when you are trying to um, have, have trade going down, which is something that is a huge factor of the game. Trading with other people, with your competitors, perhaps, uh, with people in the area. Pretty neat. I like that. I think it's a cool touch. There's a lot of diplomacy and stuff as well. There's war. I, that's what surprised me most. That's what interested me most. It's a city builder, but there's a full-on, like, war system in the game as well. It's not like a, you know, um, grand strategy game or anything like that, but it's still a pretty comprehensive, like, set of units. You can build ships. You can go to war. You, you know, you can micro if you want to. There's wind direction in, taken into consideration. Pretty cool. Right. Feels an eternity since the funeral, and the cost! Oh, why, it was extortionate! That is gonna rob me. Now, Definitely not selling up, so he wants four schnapps for himself. Well, we've got... Sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after father's death. Really surprised, Hannah? Come on. You know better. So we managed to get our schnapps supply up really quickly, actually. That's nice. And let's go ahead and... Might as well do this. Now I'm kind of regretting rushing these guys out. I'll need them eventually, but... Let's do it. Might as well. If anything, as soon as we can, we'll start exporting schnapps and make some money off of that. And let's go ahead and get some fire stations set up as well. Your people are recovered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, sister. Uh, so, schnapps distilleries are very prone to explosions. So, let's go ahead and get a fire station set up right over here. Just cost us some money in timber. Get that done. Make sure if uh, any... Having a fire station nearby reduces the chance of an explosion or of a fire starting. So, that's a good start already. Uh, but then on top of that, um, if there is a fire, they send out a brigade that needs to be trained. And they take care of the fire. And over here as well, we're going to get a... We're going to want to get a fire station to protect all of these houses should they catch fire. And as you can see, yeah, we're going to face it this way because I think that looks nicer. There we go. You know, the marketplace, so you know you're nice and safe. And as you can see over here, we actually have a resident quest. So this is one of the ways that you can have different kinds of quests pop up. Some of them are really cool. Some of them are okay. Let's find out what we get for this one. You can make better what's already gold. Bloody hounds have the whole neighborhood terrorized. Sooner or later, a kid's going to end up bitten. Lock them away. Ye must. So this is one of I the okay we've ones. We've ever wished for. Damn right. You yeah, have everything you've ever wished for. Find and collect the stray dogs. So I gotta just look around a little bit and look for some dogs that are roaming around roughly in this area. Roughly in this area. It is a pack of dogs. And like this, this is, these are the kinds of quests that are just like, do I really have to do this right now? Ready to repay my charity? I'm ready. I don't want to, though. I've got the extra schnapps that he wants, so might as well just deliver it to him. Don't think you're finished, brat. Those are horses. I loathe the reek of lanolin, but if farmers' smocks are all you have. All right, so he wants four work clothes next. Also, these dogs no were... limit to Uncle's shameless demands? Of course not, sister. Come on. Uh, so, yeah, he was... These dogs were nowhere near where the camera took me. So, that's that's a lot of fun. Keen as a three-legged goat! All right, cool. So, uh, doing that actually gave us a bosun. Bosun? Bosun? I never knew how to pronounce that. Never never know how to pronounce that. Uh, and that is actually something that we can equip on ships once we get them. And it reduces how much damage those ships take. And you can see if we... Go on an expedition, which I can't wait to do. Uh, these characters also add some buffs to the expedition force as well. So, uh, good to have characters and items and things like that. Um, there are physical objects that you can get too, so that's a whole different thing altogether. Uh, but yeah, lots of fun to be had there as well. This is good as well. This is working pretty smoothly, I think. What's our numbers at right now? Yeah, you know what? That's pretty good. Hold on a second. Uh, schnapps is like right on point it looks Whatever like you do, master. right Keep on target it. all right uh desolated church Tell district me you've managed something i managed more than something edvard bah, bah, black sheep have you any wool yes sir yes sir four bags full not how it goes how illiterate and uneducated are you 
not how the song goes. Let's get rid of this. They came here for salvation. Never did they find it. I hear it in Sean Bean's voice. Ever since, Civ what was it, Civilization VI, was it? I always hear little descriptions like this in Sean Bean's voice, and I'll love it. I can't do his voice, but I can hear it in my head. Uh, Alright, we're at actually our timber cap, so I need to build more. Get more houses up. There we go. I was like, quiet. <laughs> there it is. Cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. I was saying, I'm saying quiet because I have a feeling we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. that someone was going to start talking and, and like it waited until I started talking before it started talking. This game got it out for me. All right, let's go ahead and pick some. Well, I can't pick up any more timber. Don't need any more timber. I've done too well on my timber production. <laughs> I'm paying the price for it. Uh, let's go ahead and set some more housing up before I go ahead and take a look at my rioting, what, cousin? He has... He decided to riot to us. Oh, ho Tons. To distract us. While I lay this block out. Alright, cool. Let's go on over. And this is Bright Sands. This is what our cities can look like at some point as well. Let's go ahead and get rid of that quest book. This is what's in store for us. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. You've got different classes of citizens. You've got artisans. You've got engineers. Uh, you've got the property of Edvard Good. Oh, I was hoping he would... Keep out. There it is. None of your business. I was like, he usually says something. But you get a little, like, plaza stuff. You can do a lot of intricate stuff. And I totally want to go full on board with all this madness. World's fair, really. All right. Anyway, looking for riots. There they are. We'd rather die than stay. Our flags still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. Okay. Uh, I'm going to find five more. Already found one. Uh, there's another one. I like how alive the cities are as well. Like even from a distance, you can see people running around. And this isn't even at the max setting. You can actually get even busier streets uh, if you want. And that's three. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's really cool. Oh, such a nice island. I want this island. You have so much space to waste. He's like, that's two more mobs. A life away from Edvard. We're on board. Only we've no ship to get on board of. If you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. All right, that sounds good enough to me. Select the editor and his crew at Edvard's Harbor. Hello there. All right, select the editor's ship at Edvard's Harbor. Oh, time for another glorious cutscene. And I also like the draw distance. That is my city over there. That's Richwater. And from Richwater, we can see Bright Sands as well. It's pretty epic. All right. Everybody on board? Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. Me too. Let's go. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. Abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil polishing, Popinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. 
Yes, sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edvard registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. Get it? Because he writes the news. I love it. <laughs> Completely my speed. Wait for Edvard to contact you about the As debt to, to the get your debt, shipping license. My hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Well, isn't that nice? Well, since we have the flagship, might as well okay, thunderclap. What a name! What a name! Feel free to give me some name suggestions as well, Maybe by the way. Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. Yeah, so we'll do that. Um, but yeah, so. If you have any name suggestions, we can rename the ships. Uh, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. Uh, because I do look at those, I like to add a little bit of customization to my campaigns. Let's go ahead and send this ship scouting off, trying to find different like islands and stuff like that, because we will need to colonize them soon. We also want to interact with NPCs, take on some more quests, see what other options we have. Have a good time. So we have to upgrade a worker or a residence to a worker residence. We are capped. I really need to... Let's go ahead and get these built, get more workers. Or get more farmers. I gotta differentiate now. And as I like to do, I'm going to go center out in terms of my expansion. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with. Sure. Do that. You reach a new milestone. The age of industrialization is upon us, and now these this new class of citizen has different needs. They have the desire for. Sausages. Our editorial section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak. Sounds wonderful. Thank you, Mr. The Editor. Um, so, with for example... passionate young reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. You... Workers can handle <laughs> stubborn debris on ditch water. If it's to be the center of our new enterprise, it needs to be immaculate. Okay, cool. Thank you. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. All right, I think we're good. Um, yeah, I mentioned it in my review that the talking gets gratuitous, uh, and it does annoy me a little bit. Um, so these guys, it's our human workers, rights. they want a lot of the similar stuff. Now they don't always want the same things that the prior step wanted. Good to know. Uh, but these guys now want sausages. But to get sausages, I need a pig farm, easy enough to build, and I need a slaughterhouse. That needs bricks. As you can see, the bottom left corner of the pop-up, there's a little exclamation mark next to the, uh, the little bricks. That means I don't have any. And that's because I haven't set up my brick production chain. So let's get that going. And now the math starts to get a touch more interesting. So first things first, uh, we gotta get rid of this smeltery so I can hear Hannah speak to me again about how I got rid of the smeltery. Um, that it was once a lively place to live, this ash and debris cannot attest. Again, I love that. It's so nicely written. <laughs> you know, it like tries to be like special and then nice and different. We gotta attract 150 workers and then we gotta get the bricks and stuff going. Otherwise people will not move in. Or I can do that. Now we're a small port town. And that unlocks even more buildings for us. We can get the church, we can start doing bread, sails, and small harbor buildings as well, which include little guns. You have father's fortitude. These people will follow you as they once followed him. Good, as they should, the rightful heir after all. Go ahead and pick up some of these bricks. That'll help us uh, get started, actually. And Your Edvard. worthless rags have barely covered anything. Now, bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Okay, okay, so sales will probably get set up over here as well, but, uh, he... Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. 
but he can wait a little bit as we try to satisfy our own people first. Uh, sales will need for our own constructing our own ships and stuff, but it does require our first overlapping resource, and that is uh, wool. So we've got the sheep farms dedicated to the framework knitters. We want to make sure that some sheep farms are dedicated to the sail makers so that uh, there's no mix up going on and uh, we're actually producing everything at maximum efficiency. So that's something we're going to have to work on. But first, we're going to get uh, clay started. Now, clay is a bit of an interesting beast. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up our clay factories and our clay pit over here. We might actually want to get another warehouse over here as well so we don't overwhelm this one. Uh, I feel like it's already starting to get a little overwhelmed. Yeah, it does have the loaders waiting every once in a while. So we're not working at maximum efficiency, and I do not like that. So we're going to get another warehouse over here. Uh, we are in blueprint mode. First things first to look at is the ratio. So clay pits take 30 seconds to produce a ton of clay. Brick factories take a minute to produce a ton of bricks. That means that we need two brick factories to keep up with the clay production, right? Because it takes... In 30 seconds, a ton of clay is prepared, and it goes to one brick factory. And in another 30 seconds, another ton of clay is prepared, but there's no brick factory to go to, so it needs a second one. So what we can do is we can get the clay pit set up like this, and let's go ahead and get the brick factories set up like um, this and this. I don't like that. Can't, these are... Okay, fine. Like this, maybe? Sure, let's do that, because this is a pretty packed space anyway. We're not going to be fitting much else over here. So we're going to do that, which makes it super easy for uh, Clay to move between these two factories. But what another thing we're going to do, or we're going to plan for at least, is uh, our other Clay Pits. As you can see, we've got one over here. We've got this one over here, which is pretty close to where we're already building. We can get this Clay Pit built over here, and we can get a warehouse built next to it so that this Clay Pit will transport goods to the warehouse and the warehouse will teleport the goods to another warehouse over here and we'll have two more clay factories in the area to produce and process rather the uh the clay from from this pit i don't have to do that but it's something i can do to try and centralize some of my production a bit more just something to keep in mind anyways let's go ahead and get our warehouse built here a small warehouse over here it should make it pretty easy because the clay will go from here to there or there and then it'll be transported up to here and what i'll do is my next couple of uh factories i'll probably put over here and over here because that also makes it easy to transport into this warehouse to pick up from and transport to and then the other set i'll probably put like because i've got three clay pits right i might put up over here let's not overcrowd this space so we have to leave room for other things uh, but let's keep an eye on how many workers we need. So the clay pit needs 50. The brick factory needs 25. So for now, we're only going to make one set, I think. So that's 100 workers. We've got more than enough for that. So let's go ahead and upgrade you, 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 and you. That should work nice and easy. And as soon as this starts working and we start getting some bricks coming through, I can start working on the, uh, the slaughterhouse. Well, actually, you know what? I can do it right now. It only costs five brick. We already have the five brick. So let's go ahead and plan this out. Let's go ahead and plan this out now. Do I want to do... I'm trying to figure out where I want to get the sail makers. Like, what I could do is... The pigs on this side. And put the sail on this side. Sure. Hold on, let me try to figure something out here. Try to figure something out here. Mm. If I do something like this, do one, two, three, move it a bit more towards the edge here, or I can even not, you know, I can keep it over here. The thing is, there's a lot of like wonk, like wonky space, and that really is best uh, for like farms and stuff like potato farms and things like that because they can take on strange shapes but i'm wondering if i'm kind of wasting space here by blocking off like that if i want to shift this over instead and make a separate block for sail makers up over here i'm gonna think about because i can put a road down over here and connect these two or a road down over here and connect these two okay, i can do something like that i think i like that 
Not the neatest look, but I do think that'll work for me. Yeah, I think that'll work for me. Okay, let's keep that in mind. But let's work on the, the pigs now. And I think I'll want to get a separate warehouse for these guys. So let's plot out how this builds out. So we've got the uh, the pig farm, which is a weird thing to, to lay out, in my opinion. Um, but you like this, and you've got five of these little slots here. So I can do one, two... This is what I mean by weird to lay out. Three, four, five. And then I can get another one that will fit like... Uh, Let's do this. I can fit like one, two, three, or five. That's weird. That's not right. There's a better way to fit this. It's gotta be. I think this might be it. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. Four, five, and then I can get another one over here, and that'll be one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So I can do that. Shift these buildings up a little bit. Because I would like to have the sausage factories closer to the road. And I can put them like this. Might as well put them like this, I think. One and two. Get you down like that. Get you down like that. Build your fifth slot there. Alright, and then the road here would connect these a little funky with this little slot over here, but maybe that's where the warehouse can go. Nope, that is not where the warehouse can go. Drop the warehouse over here, maybe leave a spot for the road to cut through down this way. The other option is, of course, to make the warehouse over here manage goods from both sides of this road. Sure, let's do that. Ah, I kind of wasted some money on these roads. Delete these. Let's go ahead and get... Let's plot it out. One, two, three, four, five. And then... One, two, three, four, and five. Cool. Get you down to here. Get you down to... Here. Minimize waste. Get these two connected by a road. And from here to here, that the right spot for the warehouse? Looks about right. I think it could be a stop over one step. Ah, uh, where are we? There we go. Right, so... Orc. <laughs> goes to the slaughterhouse, gets turned into sausages, gets transported to the warehouse, and hopefully we'll produce something on this side and uh, transport to the warehouse as well. That should be well and good, hopefully. And I'm not sure if I need to connect these to this main road. Uh, we'll find out in a moment's time. Now, first, 30 farmers and 50 workers, so we need some more workers. Houses are not filling up because I don't have sausage. Okay, I'll give them sausage. Why are these houses like not filling up? Not enough clothes. Okay, well then let's go ahead and get this built. Evidently we're not keeping up with our manufacturing here. Alright, so now some of these houses should fill up, and then I should be able to upgrade them. That explains the, uh, the slowdown there. Well, look at the timber, though. Like, we've been, we've been overproducing timber. I can actually stop the production here. I can go ahead and hit pause. We can stop building or stop processing timber and free up some of the workforce to work on other things, which might not be a terrible idea, but we are about to build a bunch of things, so let's save it up for now. Save it up for now. Um, guys just about ready to upgrade yet? Nah. These clothes haven't come through. I could just build more houses. Go ahead and get another set over here. Another set over here. It's a road set up as well. And let's just build this ring first, and we should hopefully be able to upgrade more than just a random house off in the corner there in a moment's time. Go ahead and get the pig started at the very least. Store them up. Let's get the uh, warehouse built as well. 
Make sure the timber can keep flowing. This should work okay. Got some funky shapes over here, but again, we can use uh, farms to fill those up. What's the deal over here? You guys are going to start getting sausage soon. There we go. Some more upgrades available. Let's go ahead with this block. And that should be enough workers for you and you. Hopefully. Keep an eye on this to make sure it actually goes in the right direction. Now, if anybody in the chat, or in the chat, I'm so used to live streaming, uh, which is funny for me. Uh, if anybody in the comments has any suggestions for managing building chains and stuff, feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions, uh, especially from Anno Experts. This is the first Anno game that I've really been able to, like, dive into, I would say. Um, so I'm always looking for any you know, helpful yeah, tips or advice you might have. I welcome it, personally. I do need to connect these guys. Let's go ahead and do that. Because I don't want to disrupt this just yet. All right, we're short on farmer workforce, so let's go ahead and upgrade this block over here, get it built. We'll have enough farmers in no time. I do think I'll need more fisheries soon, though. I'm going to start lagging behind a little bit. I don't want that to happen. Oof. Not the prettiest sight. Can I... Build you on the land, yes. So I could could make it less hideous, I suppose, but still not all that pretty, and also a waste of resources. We can't be wasteful right now. We don't have the money. We don't have the resources to be wasteful right now. I could put another one over here, perhaps. Yeah. Put all the fishing to one side. Leave the other side for like visitors and stuff like that. Don't want to arrive too close to fish. Alright, that should help. Hopefully we'll get some of these houses filling up as the fish and clothing starts to fill up. Looks like we're working at a decent enough pace. This trip is starting to feel too long, but it's okay. Soon enough we'll add another warehouse, probably over here or something, because we're going to have the sail makers set up over here uh, with the sheep farms and the sails being built, and then transport it to another warehouse so it's a bit more convenient. Might put the warehouse, like, here. Or even here, maybe. Not the shortest journey. The other option, of course, is to build um, paved streets. They help people move a little bit faster. Uh, so that the carts will move faster. And also, uh, fire fighters, which I should put one down of over here. Firefighters are able to get even further as well. Get, uh, let's get you down. Down over here. A snug fit. Which is what I'm looking for. Yeah, let's do that. Decent reach. Yeah, but if these were paved streets, you'll, you'd will you see that they can actually reach a little bit further out. Um, unfortunately, they're not paved streets, and paved streets cost bricks, which we don't have that many of. So I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to hold off on doing that. I find them worthwhile. I've been told, I was told during my uh, last live stream that they're not all that worthwhile, but I, don't know, I, I found them useful. You have stopped exploring, so let's keep doing that. And what do we have here? SNR. Oh my god, my long-lost twin brother. What are the chances that he would be in the same uh, island chain? What are the chances? Well, how are you so far ahead of me? Like, beautification and stuff going on? What's going on over here? Oh yeah, that's Bright Sands, of course. This island is unsettled, and it does have fur abundance, grape fertility, and grain fertility. This island is also unsettled. Ooh, these red peppers and hops are stuff you need pretty soon. What do I have on my main island? Potato, grain, and night. Oh, no. That's not good. Let's bring... I can't claim islands just yet because... Um, claiming islands requires steel beams as well. So I need, to, I need to get a move on before the AI starts to claim some of these islands. They are much smaller as well. Oh, lord, they're much smaller. Hmm, okay. This is, uh, gonna be interesting. What's wrong over here? We're overwhelmed? Yeah. I'm gonna have to upgrade these as soon as I can. They cost 20 bricks to upgrade, but it's not a bad idea. Then again, we have more than enough timber flowing through our veins. I don't think I need to do that. Now, let's, uh, should we start looking at our sail production? Or, actually, let's go ahead and get ourselves a church, I think. Because these guys, their needs are pretty well met. Hold on, you're a farmer. Your needs are pretty well met. Your happiness, though... 
They need that church. They want, I should say, that church. They also need bread. So we'll work on that soon, but maybe we should go ahead and deal with the uh, sales first. I think we have enough workers flowing through. Let's get the church in, though. Put the church right next to the pub. No harm in doing that. I mean, what I could do, actually, is... Uh, oh, you know what? That is a, is a perfect fit. Perfect fit for my blocks. But yeah. Wine's the blood of Christ, right? It's okay. <laughs> Let's put the church right here. Oh, not possible. How much How much brick do I need? 25 bricks. That'll take some time. That'll take some time. Because, I mean, I guess I could get this started up over here. Or is there any other... Oh, hold on a second. These are really close to each other. Maybe I can clear this out to get some bricks. out of Angry Annie's waters, or she'll blow a hole in your mizzen. Angry Annie, our first pirate. Now hold on, the abandoned pit. Just a sad dark Poor hole Anne's remains from once the father was executed oh, by the mad king, and now she is mad herself. I see. That's why she's crazy. All right, Ship skip Jack. Her, whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Oh my God! I might lose my flagship. Going against the wind over here, so that's going to be problematic. Not what I was expecting. At all. Are you seriously going to give chase? Don't give chase. I'm just trying to leave here, man. Now uh, we got this ship coming up as well. Oh, this is not good. I might actually lose my flagship. It's okay. If you lose your flagship, you get a replacement. And this is almost definitely going down. I guess we're causing some damage as we as we. And we'll scuttle more yet. Damn, these pirates, man! I will have vengeance Look for that here. fallen Look flagship. Your flagship. Well, I'll see what I can rustle up. Thank you. I do feel bad for our editor, but damn. Okay, pirates are no check. joke. Keep your flagship intact. Resources are scarce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In future. Keep your flagship intact. Yes. I will. Ship was destroyed. I'm very very painfully aware of that. Hey, they've got a couple gunboats down here. That was that that was actually very fast and very terrifying. They've got these little cannon towers over here as well, protecting their little hidey hole. Why are we at war? I guess I just got a little too close and I, I didn't listen. I didn't heed the warnings of uh of the game. Shoulda listened. Well, we're off to a good start. I think we'll get a flagship soon enough. I hope we'll get a flagship soon enough. Not enough bricks to get this done yet. But you know what? I think the fall of our flagship is a good point at which to call this session, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a good time with today's session. I hope you enjoyed what we got done so far. There's a lot more Anno 1800 to come on this channel. Just let me know if you want more of Anno 1800 on this channel by dropping a like and a comment down below. Like I've said before, it makes a very big difference. I really appreciate knowing. I really appreciate the feedback. And if you have any thoughts, let me know in the comments down below as well. Uh, as always, a massive thanks goes out to each and every one of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly, much like our Enterprise, but not at all like our flagship. Uh, and a massive thanks, of course, goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.